You're fine. Look, there's Paris. All right, we are at the marina. We're going to go on Paris's boat. Yay! Okay. So the question is, which one is Paris's boat? I probably should have watched his videos a little more to see what it was called. Does your boat have a name? Everdeen. Of course it does. Everdeen. Yeah. There it is. This which one? one? This one? Yeah. This is the one. Yeah. This is Everdeen. Everybody meet Everdeen. Hello, Everdeen. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It's so tiny. All right, guys. This is the adorable inside of Paris's boat. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at okay, everybody look at his shoes. Sorry. What's wrong with my shoes? <laughs> Nothing's they're, wrong with your shoes. They're just very regular Vans <laughs> little slippers. <laughs> okay. This is just adorable. And look at his pillows. That's cute. And that. that's my favorite. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. Hi. And welcome to the boat. <laughs> welcome to the boat. Okay. I do not really have a very good plan right now. Uh, but we're going to be doing acrylic pouring. So this is Paris, for those of you who don't know. Hi. Um, he has his own channel. I can't really tell you what it is. It's called Paris Bosserman. I could tell you that. What is my channel? I am Mixed Media Boy. <laughs> But we're not talking about art, we're talking about media. I just, I film everything. I'm like a vlogger, okay? So, sometimes I'll do sailing videos on this boat, and then I'll do, like, I'm shaving my beard off, and then I'll, I'll yeah. just do random stuff. Okay, and then so... I've, I've been on her channel a couple times, and I love it. Because I love Yeah. Paint. So, we do a lot of projects together. So, this is, he was like, let's go paint on my boat. I was like, okay, why not? All right, so I've decided what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to do ribbons. Ribbons. Okay? Yes. So let's do the same thing as usual with our cup of where you're going to fill it up maybe just over halfway. Okay. So these are 8 by 10 canvases, and this is a 9-ounce cup. So long story short, we're going to get about 5 ounces of paint in here, which is appropriate for this canvas size. So we have the uh, basic primary colors here, red, yellow, blue. Um, and, I know. And in, black and white. And black Hello. and white, yeah. So I know in terms of photography, there are different primary colors, guys. I'm going to start with black because <laughs> I'm, I'm weird like that. But in kindergarten, these are the primary colors. <laughs> People always love to argue with me about that. Like it's actually like magenta and blah, blah, blah. It's just plain old blue, plain <laughs> old yellow, and plain, plain old, old red. red, okay? So... I'm going to use a lot of yellow. So the very first acrylic pour I've ever done, I did with her. And we actually have those paintings right back here. And then on another episode, we did resin over on top of them. And we're going to hang them up on the boat. Yeah. Very excited about that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of going for making all of the colors here. I have a question. Yeah. Can you literally just pour it onto the canvas or? Absolutely. That's what's called a clean pour. So I frequently ask it, get asked what's the difference between a clean pour and a dirty pour. That is the difference. So we can actually do that on maybe the next video. I can show yeah. you how to do a clean pour. But yeah, a clean pour is just you're pouring one color on the canvas, then another color, then another color. And there's a few different techniques for that. Uh, dirty pour is when you pour all the colors in the cup together and then onto the canvas. Okay? So let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, good. So um, we did the flip cup. This is a little different of... You're just going to go ahead and pour it. You can really do however you want. Um, but as you can see, if you take a look... Let me actually... I'm going to go zoom in. These are what is called ribbons. And leave a little bit in your... Did you leave a little bit in your cup? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, look at it. Mine's very girly. Yeah, there's no silicone in here, guys. Look at all these cells Paris got. Yeah. Okay. So, see how I kind of went across here? Mine's definitely very rainbowish. Um, that is called a ribbon. And we also both left a little bit of paint 
in our cups, which we're going to utilize after we spread this paint out. All right, there we go. Okay, so go ahead and spread your paint out as usual, however you would like. Well, and then we're gonna there's add a lot some more. of pink and stuff over here, but then there's like darker, manlier colors <laughs> here. So I'm gonna start going this way. Yeah, you can run it off however you want. So that I can get. So you, your painting can so be that more I can manly. end off with the manlier colors going that way. Well, realize you're gonna have the you have like black and stuff on the bottom of your cup, mm -hmm. and that's in the end what's gonna kind of be on top of your painting. Oh, good point. Yeah, so don't worry about it too much. And actually, I am super thrilled with mine. I may not even add additional paint. If you want to actually use any paint from my cup, you can. Look at this. Oh, Look nice. how cool that is. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. But you can still see the ribbons. Um, it definitely helps to add some ribbons at the end. Uh, so they stand out a bit more. But I, I love this. Here, if you want to use any of that, you totally can. Gonna... I would recommend putting the canvas down before you pour on it. But That's not how I roll You know, he, he is a grown man. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. You know how I do. <laughs> Love how I'm always like 10 times faster than anyone else I'm teaching to paint. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> talked about that in the car, actually. She's like, Paris, you need to go fast. Because uh, you are I think slow. it's a certainty thing, you know? Just because I know what I'm doing, so I just like do it. Everybody else is like, I'm not so sure. I want more black. So, what? Oh. oh. Yep, that's paint on my boat. Everybody saw that. I'm gonna just heated. go. Okay, good. I'm going. He's crazy. going for it. I'm gonna. That's just, gonna be cool. Yeah. Okay. Go for that. Yeah. He was like, I got a little too much pink there. Because I didn't love the way it. Turned yeah. No, out, that's so I'm cool. Just gonna... And the good thing about that is you can keep going until you're happy with it. And if it's just an absolute disaster, right. you can always really scrape like it this, off. I actually really like this, so I'm just gonna good. let it run off. Do it. I think we're good there. I'm gonna come zoom in on and you. Drop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do a little zoom in action. Make sure you get all your edges, any get corners. Oh, that's so cool. I actually really like that. Um, one word to the wise is don't put your gloves over your painting because you have wet paint. <clears throat> I've done that so many times where you drip the paint from your gloves onto your painting and then it's like you want to cry. <laughs> all right, we'll do our close up here. Okay, so before I go in for a close-up, look at this. This is where Paris just dumped his paint down the side of his boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's like a dual acrylic pour. This yeah. is pouring the boat slash pouring a uh, canvas. Yeah. <laughs> so here's Paris's. I actually love how this came out. And I love that you just went for it. I just went for it. Like, honestly, that's the best. Don't I like be, these little specks of white. Don't be you know afraid. What, you know what those little specks of white are from? The white paint. When I ripped off my gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah? It splattered a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, no, that's cool. So that, uh, and it will continue to change a little bit as it dries. Oh, I just love your pattern here. That's so exciting. Thank you. Okay, and then here's mine, which now seems boring. <laughs> uh, your, I, you know, it's funny. It's, it's I fun. like yours better. You like mine better. <laughs> that's we'll really, trade. That's really funny. I do love this black lacing I got in here, though. That's pretty killer. Yeah. And then for some reason, I really like this section. I don't know why. It's like an epicenter. Okay, cool. So there we go. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. <clears throat> that was um, a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. And uh, check out Paris's channel if you like. And let me know if mm -hmm. I should just leave the paint on the on the wall down here or if I should clean it up. I and... vote yes. Also, <laughs> I vote that we resin this table that's under this tablecloth. So Just so you guys know what it looks like. It's, it's just wood. Boring. Yeah. yeah, it's boring wood. But yeah, yeah not I even like real look... wood probably, right? No, it's totally laminated yeah. wood. Laminate. Yeah, laminate. So. Yeah. So if we do some killer resin over there. So definitely give us your votes for that in the comments. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, and otherwise we'll see you next time. But I did it and you didn't. That's your sign-off. <laughs> right, I do that every time, huh? Right? <laughs>